with with a, a very competitive ten team tournament and only only as you say two teams going through, it's going to be tough. But um, uh, we've got quite a bit of experience in these qualifying tournaments. Uh, we have learned from our success and failures in the past at these tournaments. We know it's ruthless. It's a pretty difficult one to qualify for with it only being a ten team tournament. But um, and, and in saying that, our, our experience should help. I think because. We know you have to turn up every day. You can't really afford to have a bad day or two bad days. You have to make sure that you consistently perform. And um, I'm looking forward to to seeing our guys do that at this stage. And I think um, you know it's tough for every team. So we're as good a chance as any. And we've got we've had a lot of success in the last three years. We're a team that um, has become accustomed to winning. Um, and, and as much as we know this is a big challenge, we're really looking forward to it. And it's. Um, this is why we play cricket, and particularly as an associate member, uh, I think the opportunity to go to a World Cup is something I've been lucky enough to do in the past, and something that um, you know we can put cricket on the map in Holland, and, and it's an opportunity we we, we uh, have every. Uh, it's an opportunity that we we, we intend to take. Uh, look, all the teams are tough. I think it's a pretty strong group. Um, Obviously, it's pretty. I think it's it's making the super sixes is important, but you also have to take points through. So, uh, I guess as I said before, every game is massive. But our you know our first game against Ireland is obviously a very big game. Uh, but also the UAE having just won Division Two, they're, they're they're looking a pretty strong side, and and PNG have been pretty good the last couple of years. And the Windies, of course, are, um, we all know their record, and they're I mean two time winners, and that's going to be a big challenge for us. But um, for me personally, I'd like to think that we could go through the Super Six, and in and, and doing that, we have to take two points through as well, at least. Um, so that would be our target. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I suppose. I mean, there's currently, I guess, four full member teams at this at this qualifier. It's a good thing. There should be uh, full members should have to qualify if they haven't had a good few years, and uh, and that's I think that's a good change. But you know, obviously, the World Cup then going down to ten teams just makes it pretty tough. But yeah, of course, it's great to have the opportunity to play against you know the Windies and or Zimbabwe and Ireland and Afghanistan. They're they're, they're good sides, and um, and previous qualifiers they haven't haven't been there. So it's definitely going to you know I think it will raise the standard of the of the qualifying tournament. And saying that, I think the standard of the qualifying tournaments have, have raised a lot anyway. The associates have got a lot better. Um, I remember when I. First was playing, you know, when we last qualified for a 50-over World Cup, a qualifying tournament in 2009 in, in South Africa. Uh, it was competitive, but the cricket wasn't of the standard that we're going to see in this tournament. Uh, there's been a huge development uh, in associate cricket, and to have those, the, maybe the lower ranked full members at this tournament makes it even better. So yeah, it's great. Um, I just wish it wasn't a 10-team World Cup and, uh, and a few, and, 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 and like in the past, there are a few more teams going. Um, it's not to say we won't be doing our utmost best to make that top 10, uh, but it obviously makes it pretty bloody difficult. Yeah. Uh, well, we were here in October, we played a series against Zimbabwe, and, uh, and it was probably a little bit different then because it was uh, the dry, it was dry. Uh, it's obviously been belting it down with rain this morning and maybe for about the last month here, so. Um, Look, uh, we've got a couple of warm-up games to get used to it. I went uh, to Old Hurarians this morning and had a look. The wicket looks good. I think the, uh, there's obviously been a lot of work done here um, by, in Zimbabwe by uh, you know, there's the Zimbabwe Cricket and also the ICC. I'm, I'm sure the wickets will be good. I think uh, let's just hope that the weather plays, uh, plays its part. We, 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 we get lots of good cricket and, and uh, you know, maybe there'll be a bit in the bit in the surfaces in the morning I think and then I can't see them de deteriorating too much so it might look, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if most teams are looking to have a wee bowl first um, in this tournament. Well it could play a huge part I think. Uh, uh, obviously it's a very difficult thing to prepare for um, but given the weather that we've seen since we've been here um, it's, it throws another sort of equation into it, you know, another you know it's always difficult with Duckworth Lewis, but I think, as I said before, um, and I'm not, certainly not, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not 100% sure at the moment, but I'd say most teams will probably look to bowl first, and then if there is Duckworth Lewis, you get a bit of an advantage batting second and, uh, and knowing where you have to be. Um, 
I really hope it doesn't come into that. Let's hope that we get 100 overs a game and, uh, and, and, and that way we guarantee that the, best, uh, the better team wins. But uh, if it is the case, then we'll, uh, we'll have to be, have the calculators out. Well, we, we won't have to, but make sure that it, it just adds an extra element and makes it a bit difficult. But uh, we'll, we're probably ready for that, I think, given the, the time of year and, uh, and where we are.